What's up, what's up, solo agent of the Division 2? I remain your favorite host, Mr. Aprocode Gamer. And today, I'm going to be showing you the view that I was just playing with. I just finished streaming on Twitch and I'm like, man, this build was absolutely awesome. I'm not going to say it's a build right now, but after putting the pieces together, I kind of found, realized that there was this flow and this feeling on the build. So without wasting much time, I'm not going to waste your time or, or get too long on this video. I'm going to dive straight in. So this is my Bloodsucker Intimidate build that I was playing with. You see, this is very, very good. Because every time you get a kill, you get the blood sucker activated. And that bonus armor that you get from the blood sucker is also going to activate the intimidate, which is us, which is gonna give you an increase in weapon damage. So before we do that, let's drive into the specialization. Yeah. I'm using the gunner specialization. For me, the gunner specialization is the best specialization in this game because if you look at the start, it's very, very vital for a run and gun type of game like Division 2 because you're always shooting. But every edge that you have against the enemy is always an additional bonus to you or your team. So let's read what the, boy, what the gunner does. The first says... It's, this is a passive talent, which is every third reload is 50% faster. Armor kit repairs 100% armor and grants 30% bonus armor for 10 seconds. Then, you have a 40% increased signature weapon damage. The signature weapon, which is like a minigun. It's, it's crazy. The base damage is like 150k. But then it scales up. And then you have the, the gunner specialization also allows you to unlock the riot foam grenade, which is going to trap, which is very good for those tanks. You see those big guys moving slowly? So you can basically find the spots and throw in the, throw in the riot foam to trap him. And then you can do damage on him over time. Like before he gets away from the foam, which you can also do again after he get, you know, like, the bar, it's, it's, it's fucking awesome. And on this build, I am using the Banshee Pause. So this is another advantage for me because um, using the Gunner Specialization is going to allow you to unlock the Banshee Pause. The Banshee Pause, the Banshee Pause launches a forward hack of forward energy that disorients enemies caught in the way. It also penetrates cover. You get the killing multiple enemies without releasing the trigger adds theory to the ammo ball excluding the signature weapon which is also good because you get this rate of fire you get like a reload speed every time reload speed is faster and you get oh no you don't get rid of fire killing killing without releasing adds a group to the Killing multiple enemies without releasing the trigger adds to to the ammo bar. Killing multiple enemies. Oh, this is like uh, this is like the first step of it, and then you scale up to like three. And the banshee pause is crazy. The 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 specialization is gonna give you access to the mods so that your banshee pause can be able to disorient the enemy even longer and a stronger pause. And we rolled in our, uh, okay, on this build, we're not going to be using our SMG. So we're going to roll in that that 15% into our assault rifle because we're using the set ammos. And our secondary weapon is the is a shotgun, which we, don't, we didn't really use in the gameplay that I was, when I was streaming, I didn't really get to use my shotgun because my set ammos was basically doing all of the work. And then... You get a bigger Porsche if you're using the LMG. This really comes in handy for the LMG because you get a bigger size belt and stuff like that. So that's it for the for the gunner specialization. You can see all of the buffs you get. You get the 10% bonus armor. You get to reload. You get to reload faster every third time. 
you reload is 50 percent faster the killing enemy grants you 10 percent armor so every time you kill you're getting armor and you're getting bonus armor from the blood sucker talent on the backpack so it's crazy the survivability is there this is just the beginning of the build i'm gonna walk you through the entire build so you can see what all the pieces does and that's it for the specialization so the specialization also gives us gives us access to the minigun when drawn it grants us 50 percent bonus armor for each signature bullet loaded and repairs one percent armor on heat reduces damage against named enemies so this is the very as you can see on this list there are a couple of special weapons all of these weapons come with different specialization and for the gunner we were able to we have the we have the mini gun that's it for that and you all know the style of the show the st elmo's engine this gun is absolutely crazy you can see the stats you get the assault rifle damage you get it for mine i have the health damage and the damage to target out of cover and let's go the, the talent is what makes this beast something something truly incredible you see the talent says shooting an enemy with this weapon will give one stack at 100 stacks the next magazine will be filled will be 100 percent filled with shock armor so which means that since we have 70 on the mag every time at 100 stacks on this weapon I get to be filled with my weapon gets to be filled with shock rounds it's incredible it's lovely it's lovely in those die hard situations where you just want to escape the enemy or do damage or find some way to recover the pause on the, the shock is really good for that so that's the style of the show the scent ammos and we're sitting at base damage 85k on this build which is not so bad but let's get to go let's get going <laughs> sorry guys this is going to be the first build um explanatory video that i'm gonna put on my channel but i said okay i'm gonna try to get to explain this as much as possible if i was playing on a team i would rather have the coyotes mask on this build but because i am playing solo i decided to go with the catasus mask and for new players or returning players, I believe everyone knows what the Catharsis Mask does. So the Catharsis taking damage built a stack to a cap of 30. Each stack grants us 1% weapon damage. Taking damage at mass stacks triggers a purge, removing all stacks and status effect and then dropping a healing cloud which restores 5% of max ammo for 10 seconds to our allies in the cloud so this is super super good for this very build because there are times where you go aggressive because you have other bonus ammo you have all that weapon damage increase from intimidate you just you forget yourself sometimes that you're running alone like i normally do and then i'm just going and then the next thing you know i'm taking damage from a source that I, like i didn't even look out for so that could come in handy when you find yourself in those tight situations because then you get that healing cloud which heals you for a couple of seconds plus it gives you enough time to pop a med kit or run away from the enemies to find cover or just reposition yourself to be able to deal damage to the enemies so that's it and on the backpack we have the best stone armory which gives us one percent ammo regen which is not very very effective on this build Plus, I wish I had a different backpack because my backpack comes with headshot damage and weapon handling, which could have been very good if I had like probably a critical damage or critical chance on the build. But then I rolled the talent Bloodsucker. So killing an enemy adds and refreshes a stack of 10% bonus armor for 10 seconds. My stack is 10. So that's very good. And since the update, something feels different about the Intimidate which made me i know when i was doing my hunter's fury build i had intimidates because i was rocking with the with the momento backpack but then uh, it doesn't feel different though but this is the way this build is supposed to work and here it is the intimidate 
while you have bonus armor you gain one stack each second up to a max of nine each stack increases weapon damage by four percent to enemies within 10 meters all stacks are lost when you have no bonus armor so the reason i have intimidate on this build is because i don't need to i don't need my crit hit or whatever i need to get this to start working because every time you kill you get that bonus armor and the bonus armor stacks because i don't i don't know how to explain this but every time you kill your bonus armor keeps increasing which means intimidate is gonna last longer so i went on and that is the reason why we have 1.8 million on the build because having 1.8 million is gonna give us a lot of base um armor and kill plus and we are gonna get uh, the bonus armor to stack longer from the blood soccer and the intimidate to work perfectly well and we have the picaro's holster which is going to give us an extra 15 percent of weapon damage on this this is a named holster and it's really good i don't know how to pronounce what it is or how to say how it is but it's some kind of multiplier to the damage so you should rock with it i rock with it on a lot of builds that comes with the browsers because it's really really efficient for the game and i have a gear gad um knee pad which gives me five percent increase in total ammo and the uh, core attributes is a blue core the ammo and i wrote crit hit damage plus we have crit chance on the knee pad and we also have this very special special glove which is the 511 dead grips this glove comes with a special um attribute for the 10 percent armor on kill so on this build we are getting armor on kill from the gunner specialization we're getting armor on kill from these gloves plus we are also getting bonus armor from blood sucker which makes everything works works really really well on my skills i have the banshee every time i rock the every time i rock the gunner specialization i just fuck with the banshee pause because it makes the job really really easy i wish i could post the gameplay of the game but like of this build but it's gonna make the video too long so i'm just gonna everyone knows what the banshee pause does it's gonna disorient the enemies and that gives you a lot of time to deal a lot of damage if you don't kill the enemy but it's gonna give you an edge because then you the enemy doesn't have any kind of defense when they are disoriented and of course i have my shield in times of emergency so my skill my skill my shield is like on five tiers because the shield scales based of the blue cores that you have on the build so this is my blood soccer intimidate and the cutters build with the saint emo's engine you should absolutely try this build because i tried it i went through a lot of content without going to the ground and i believe you're gonna enjoy yourself with playing with this build if you think that you have too much bonus ammo i would normally just come here and i also did change i also did play with the grupo and that gave me an increase in critic damage so for those people who are very comfortable with playing with 1.5 this is also a good way to play with the build because then you are like 1.5 and you're still able to survive through content from the bonus ammo you're getting and all that um shane killing the enemies and rocking your 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 intimidate so for me i went with a lot of ammo because i run solo plus i needed my bonus ammo to be much stronger and my ammo on kill to, to 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 keep my intimidate from going off really quick you know even though i'm taking damage from enemies it's gonna take a while as compared to when you have less blue cores on a build for this um intimidate so guys i remain your favorite host mr Procody gamer this is gonna be the first of many videos to come i stream every day on twitch so if you want to catch me play on this with this build or see other views that i put together other pieces that i've been able to like oh this can work or this can work of course i have times where i have like totally a mess but 
I want you guys to come through and have fun. I stream every fucking day, Division 2, Red Dead Redemption, and GTA alike. So if you want to catch me, play with these views. Don't forget to go to the description and follow me on Twitch. I remain your favorite African streamer, Mr. Procode Gamer. Bye.